Hello, for this worked example, we're asked to find the x and y coordinates of the centroid of the shape shown below. Uh, so this shape here is kind of like an arch shape, uh, and the first thing we're going to need to do is to break this down into pieces that are available in our centroid table. Um, so to do that, uh, what I did is I took switch the black pen here, uh, a large rectangle, so a rectangle that encompasses the whole thing, uh, and if we subtract out two shapes, uh, particularly a, uh, a semicircle up here and a rectangle down here, so it's going to be shape two and shape three respectively, uh, we wind up with this overall shape that we have right here. Uh, so the semicircle here, if the diameter basically is two inches, that means the radius is going to be one inch. Uh, and then the height of this rectangle here, so if this is four to the top of this and it's got a radius of one inch, uh, the rectangle over here is going to be three inches uh, overall that way. So with that, we're going to start to create our table. Um, so for a centroid table, uh, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need to indicate what shape we're working with. That's going to be the one, two, three I just designated. We're going to need the area of each of those shapes. Uh, and then we're going to need to know the x-coordinate and y-coordinate of the centroid of each of those shapes. So we're going to go ahead and fill in this table for our shape 1, 2, and 3. All right, so for shape one, uh, that is our large rectangle here. Uh, it is three inches by five inches, so 15 inches squared total. Uh, for shape two, it is a semicircle, uh, radius of one inch. Um, so pi r squared would be a full circle. One half pi r squared would be the half circle. Uh, it's a cutout, so it's gonna be negative area. So negative 1.57 inches squared. Uh, and then shape three is a rectangle two inches by three inches. Again, it's a cutout, so it's going to be a negative area, so negative six inches squared. All right, so next up we need to know the coordinates of the centroid of each of those pieces. Uh, so for a rectangle, x bar and y bar, this is the center of the rectangle. Uh, well, it's going to be 1.5 inches, so half the width and half the height. Uh, so 1.5 inches is one half of three, uh, and then two in or 2.5 inches is one half of the um, five inch total height. So 1.5 and 2.5. All right. Next up is my semicircle. So left, right, the center of the semicircle. Uh, I have to go half an inch here uh, before I even get to the edge of the semicircle, and I have to go one radius to get to the middle. So one half plus one is going to be 1.5 inches uh, in, for x bar. And then for y bar, um, well, I'd need to go up three inches total, and I need to go up an extra little bit to get to the center of this. So if I look in the table for the centroid uh, for my semicircle, I'm going to find the equation uh, y bar is 4 over 3 pi r. Uh, so r is 1 inch, uh, and if I plug all that in, I would get here 0.42 inches. Um, that is just from the, uh, the flat side of my semicircle, though. So I have to go 3 inches plus 0.42 inches. So 3.42 inches there. Next up is my final rectangle. Uh, so to get to the center left right, I have to go one half inch just to get to the edge of the rectangle. I have to go another inch to get to the center of the rectangle. So 1.5 inches there. And then finally, uh, to get to the center um, this way, I have to go one half of three inches. So 1.5 inches that way. All right, so all of this information in the table is what I need uh, to um, kind of calculate the x bar and y bar total for this shape. So let's go to the next page and we're gonna do those calculations. So x bar, it's gonna be area one times x bar one. So that was 15 inches 
times 1.5 inches plus area 2 times x bar 2. So that was negative 1.57 times 1.5 plus area 3 times x bar 3. So negative 6 times 1.5. And all of this gets divided by the overall area. So 15 minus 1.57 minus 6. All right, if I plug all that into my calculator uh, and kind of run the numbers, I'm going to wind up with x bar of 1.5 inches. So this is the x coordinate of my centroid. I can do a similar thing for y bar. So y bar. Uh, is going to be equal to area 1 times x or y bar 1. So 15 times 2.5 plus, or y plus, and I've got a negative area, one, negative 1.57, area 2 times y bar 2. So this is my 3.42 inches plus area 3, negative 6 times y bar 3, 1.5. Again, divide this by the overall area, so 15 minus 1.57 minus 6. So all of this is going to give me a final number of 3.11 inches. All right, and so with that, I've got the x-coordinate of the centroid and the y-coordinate of the centroid. Uh, so that's all I'm looking for in this example. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.